Okay, Linda. We're going to try this again. Unbelievable. Okay, just a little recap. Oh. It did look much cuter in the second video. So now it's like 1.30 a.m. And I have to I want to finish this for you so I can, uh. Archangel Michael above us, Archangel Michael to our left, Archangel Michael to our right, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael all around us, Archangel Michael, if you can please step forward and invoke your... Um, both your violet flame and your white light. And take your shield and cover us all and protect us. Protect me in my home. Protect my children. Protect them as they sleep. Protect my front, my, my main street, my backyard, my back alley. Uh, protect Linda, her home, her loved ones, anybody that turns this channel on. They are automatically protected. It doesn't matter if it's a week from now, two weeks from now, two months from now, a hundred years from now, 30 years from now. They will always be protected from this prayer. And then Archangel Michael will step in, cover everyone, and then you're going to take your sword and you're going to cut all cords of negativity. See if it lights up. These incense are like terrible. Who's that? These aren't good incense. looking for it is I'm gonna get some amber this thing was 20 bucks it's like only lasts a week
Here we go. Here we go. There we go. This is what I like. Bring some energy down. I'm going to deliver these messages to Linda. We already got the cards out, so. Do not listen to this recording while driving or operating machinery. Thank you. Be serious. Get rid of it. This Palo Santo stick. This, um, I just ran out of sage, but I got sage, um, incense sticks. This is amber, the myrrh, um, Palo Santo. Sage, when you use sage, that's your bleach. That's where you cleanse, scrub, everything scrubs. Your Palo Santo stick is your air freshener. That keeps all the good spirits around. Make sure when um, Chad's at your house this weekend, you have a drink with him. You sit at the table and you talk to him. Seriously. Manifest, Linda. You want him home? Okay, we're good. Mm. Got some honey for Cleopatra. I sometimes give her a shot to drink. It's nighttime, but she did the messages already, so. Mm. Okay. So, when we first started, you had the moon card. That's the reverse moon card. That's you in illusions and delusions. You thinking people possibly around you are being deceitful, being dishonest, not being true to themselves. But then, you're in this illusions and delusions moon card then somebody around you or it's you that has the queen of wands energy that she is nurturing generous loving caring giving um i honestly believe this is you and that's you why well, i know the moon card is you and then i wasn't sure about the queen of wands um i'll just say right now since i've already read the whole entire deck <laughs> 
um, I believe this whole entire tarot reading is just 100% about you. I don't think there's any other energy in that as I burn myself. So then we get down to the second row here. We have... We have the emperor. He's upside down. Now when I say he, she, and tarot, male, female, um, gender does not exist in the tarot card readings or even in the spirit world. We all do have masculinity and femininity in our natal charts. If you're interested in your natal chart, I can get you that for free. I can get you that for free. Tell you who you are. Why you do the things you do. The Emperor reversed. Mm -hmm. oh, I just want you to see the card. Mm. I'll figure it out one day, Linda. Are you serious? 